Open Design Center and from within the dynamic window drawing file, find and insert the dynamic vertical wall template block. This block comes set for 104 and 1 quarter inch studs, 8 feet 8 and 1 quarter inches. Left click on the block, select fault stud visible, and we'll change the height to 116 and a quarter inches. Draw a horizontal line representing the ceiling height. Offset that 16 inches for the floor joist. Offset that line 1 and 1 8 inches for the floor sheeting. And copy the wall block to the top of the floor sheeting. Draw a horizontal line representing the stud height for a balloon wall. And just in case, offset that one 12 inches. Perhaps the second floor has 104 and a quarter inch studs. Erase the upper block and extend the hut stud height for the lower block to the reference line for the second floor. At no point have we used a calculator. The length display does not change until a regen command has been issued. We can change the height simply by clicking on the block and dragging the grip to the reference line. Another way to modify and use the block is to extend it using objects already in your CAD drawing. Move or copy the block using the lower left corner to the left edge of the desired location. Left click the block to reveal the grips. Drag the horizontal grip to the right and click the right limit location. Change the stud height using the vertical grip and entering the desired distance from the keyboard or drag the vertical grip to an already drawn point. While the wall block is still located on the wall, you can draw reference lines and then move the block and reference lines to a more convenient area to finish the drawing. The wall block can be used with PDF drawings that are XREFed into your drawing if the PDF drawing was generated from an AutoCAD drawing. Copy or drag and drop the wall block to the left position of the desired location on the PDF drawing and extend it to the right limit of the vertical elevation. Adjust the height of the wall. And if desired, draw lines to transfer information from the PDF. Then you can move everything off of the PDF
and finish the drawing.